Hello and welcome. This is Rick Baxter with Cost Control Software coming to you from Carmel, Indiana, just north of Indianapolis. I'm so excited really today to show you our first uh, mobile application for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. The example I'm going to use here today is for the job manager software that we represent and how a, a, a foreman or a a person that is running the shop floor can check on the status of his job directly on the uh, iPad like you see behind me here. So let me move out of the way and I'll give you a couple quick examples and then I'll show you how we set this thing up and what makes it possible. So the first thing is you see and I'm just going to have to use a mouse this is a simulator but it is it works just like a, an iPad so I'm just going to click on jobs and it's going to go directly to the standard NAV uh, job well or job manager job list so here's the the list of jobs the job numbers you notice the dash numbers you've seen those before here's the description the job type uh, the project number, the quantity that's being ordered. Again, think in terms of who's going to be looking at this screen. What kind of information do they want to see on the screen? Well, it's basically a, a list of their jobs, the status of these jobs, the quantity uh, remaining to produce, start dates, ending dates, whether it's on time or late, who the customer is, and who's responsible. Now, we've put these column headings in here. Um, based on what we kind of perceived that uh, customers would want. But again, that's uh, pretty much up to the every end user to decide what columns and the width of these columns that they want to uh, display on their iPad. And I'll show you how that's set up here in just a moment. Now, this is not the only thing, though. So from a given job, so if I'm sitting here, let's say, on this conveyor job, I can click on that job, and then I can go several places. You literally build your own menu as well. So you can go to the job card, to the job task list, the bill of materials for that job, or the actual ledger entries for that job. Let's start with the task list. So I'm going to click on task list and it's going to very quickly and this is about the same response time that you would expect uh, out in the field as well. So here's the uh, task list, the uh, task numbers, the descriptions and basically you it scrolls just like uh, your iPad would scroll and it has a variety of information on it. It's going to have setup time, run time, the estimated number of hours for that operation, the load hours, start dates, whether it's um, started or not. I think that's what the project manager needs to know is has this particular operation, so let's go down just a little bit further, for example, cutting, has cutting started? No, this is when it's due to start. There's the start date on that task. So you see, they can get a real clear picture of um, the status of the job. Now, one little comment as I'm kind of looking at this screen, as we kind of put this together, we decided that as far as financial information, in other words, the current job to date cost or the estimated cost to do each of these works, uh, each of these uh, operations or tasks, um, there wasn't really any need to display that for that particular um, role in in the business so we did not show those columns however maybe somebody that's maybe an administrator would need to show a column showing estimated cost for design or CAD work or materials cost or cutting and bending the operations they would want to see what the estimated costs are and the actual job to date costs uh, could be shown on their screen depending on who they log in Okay, so let me go back. I think you get the idea there. Again, those are some screens that we've just kind of created for you as samples. Let's do that one more time. If I go to the bill of materials, it's going to take me to the planning lines of the job filtered by the uh, item list. So this is all planning lines for, and see so you see multiple 
um, tasks uh, here are, are all brought together. And again, no financial information the way we thought about laying this screen out, but certainly the task number that those materials would be used on, the part numbers, of course, and then the quantity and the job to date usage. It would make sense that they should be able to know how much has been used job to date and the outstanding amount. And it makes sense too for them to see who the vendor is and the cost category that it applies to. So again, the bill of materials, very quick, just easy to access that as well. And then if you want to see, let's go to a different job. Let's go to this finished good number 101. If I go and look at its ledger entries, this goes to the basically the job ledger entries and I can see all the, the posting dates, the job number, uh, the task number, sorry, and the uh, type, uh, who was working on it, Mark, Linda, uh, what materials were used, is there any more? No, that's it. And so descriptions and quantities, and but again, no financials. If we wanted to, we could easily drop in a column for the um, unit cost and the actual cost of each of these um, ledger entries. This is just to basically let the um, the foreman know that these have been charged to that specific job. So again, you see how easy it is to, to navigate through the system, designing your own columns and forms. Um, and there's, there's so much, this is a nice little piece of software. And we set this job, what's interesting, this list here for jobs. This was um, about a day and a half uh, to get the, um, really kind of learn it and get so that we could kind of uh, put the columns in where we wanted them and design the way we wanted the operation to work. Now the software though could work for many different types of businesses. You may have a sales situation where you want to be able to look at customers, sales quotes, sales orders, or you might want to be, do some marketing things where you have contacts and you want to see your contact list right on the screen. You might have some uh, salespeople that travel and they need to uh, be able to get the maybe phone numbers and a variety of information about each of their contacts. So you could have the complete contact uh, management system uh, built into your iPad as well. Just depends on how you design the menus for each, opera each operator. So each person can have his own unique uh, menu here that they go into. So I wanted to give you a little peek at it uh, as far as the operational side and in the next movie we'll show you uh, the back end and how you uh, set these screens up. Thanks so much.